What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Bags. Sunday morning, Jake and I are gonna kind of get out down here and uh, do a, like a little new and old lure selection for your boy Bags. Um, but I think I've been fishing a lot more topwater this season than probably the last three combined between um, in recent times, the canal, a couple weeks there, pretty, uh, pretty regular. And then on the beach, just going after work. These happy and clams. These are, um, all his lures are freaking phenomenal. I got onto these guys from the canal cruiser back in the day. It was probably like my best caster and just really, really fishy plug for the canal. Um, but fishing the beach more often than not, I love the minnow cruiser. And then also being a catch and release guy, just having the one treble on the back. This thing casts like an absolute missile. Um, and it's super easy to work. And then with the, like I said, with the one trebby on the back, it's just, um, super nice and enjoyable to fish. If I'm not casting that guy, um, a little bit heavier plug, but even a little bit better casting. I know all the guys in the shop have been killing on the Ziggy. If I had to choose, the white is probably the slammer for me. Uh, I know Tim is a fan of the mackerel one he's been crushing it on, um, but white is a special one. So a little bit of new new jams. Um, the Yozuri Mag Dive, this 170. I was, I love the top knock and they've been keyed on on small bait, but it doesn't cast phenomenally well. So I was looking at, you know, for uh, for a reasonable size bump up, this can cast a little, a lot farther. Um, the Yozuri stock hooks and split rings are completely fine. Um, and like I said, great caster. We got this in the blurple or that like black silver jam. And then obviously the bone, bone is kind of the ticket for me. Love it. And then I love this little guy. Um, the homies with Tsunami hooked us up with some during show season. So I got a little one for freshwater that I've been absolutely crushing on. Um, and then this is the little bit bigger size. Uh, these salt X hooks are actually really impressive. Um, not even going to BS you. And then I love the, the little dress treble on the back. Um, the split rings are really solid too. Finish on them. But really this thing comes into its own. Um, cause these rattles are ridiculous. Um, they call them in. I had a, a lot of really good days in the bay this spring on this guy. I think this is what they call the bait fish color. Super nice. Uh, I have this in like a black and chrome and a pogey as well. Um, and for 10 bucks, these things are phenomenal. It's a great value. Um, and everybody knows like we lose plugs out here on a pretty consistent basis. So not breaking the bank with every single lure you choose uh, is kind of the name of the game for me. Um, if anybody knows, they know that this is a 3D copy of a previous popper. I'm not even gonna say the name. Um, but phenomenal plug, uh, not a great caster. This cast considerably better. I would say you get another quarter out of the cast out of it. Um, and like I said, sometimes the rattle just drives them batch it. So love that one. That's a standout for me. Some of the good old classics. I think, oh, is it Dark Ghost Yozuri? This thing's a slammer. Again, you know, not not uh, unbendable hooks, but you know, Yozuri's you can fish out of the package. Um, definitely um, a little bit better than the uh, than the SPs, to be totally honest. But everybody knows, everybody knows. Wow, <laughs> you know what I mean. One bite is all it takes. Uh, the silver purple. This is probably my number one favorite. Um, these aren't going to go back in the package because I'm probably just going to cop them. Why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but these cast phenomenally well. Um, silver purple, I think, really works um, on a really consistent basis phenomenally well. I pretty much have to have at least one of these, probably more like two of these, in my bag at all times if I'm fishing um, after dark, for sure. And again, you know, what, 13 bucks for the Yozeri, 12 bucks for the SP. You know what I mean? You're not really going to find a lure that's going to consistently catch fish um, and cast that well off the beach on a daily basis. Um, yeah, not rocket science, it just freaking works. Like that's all that matters. If it catches fish and it doesn't make me go broke, um, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate in my bag too, cause I'm running a really small bag so I can uh, cram them in. And I definitely cram them in. Um, silver metallic, this little six inch, one ounce Ron Z. This is like my classic favorite 
um, the amount of years that the Silver Metallics got my first striper of the year. Um, and also for the schoolies, um, early season, having just a jig head, single hook, SPs with the trebies, um, tend to do just more damage than they're worth than for that size of fish for me. And also just uh, loses its appeal really quick when you got to deal with the traps. This is just lip, release, swim off, fill them in another day. So new arrival, same deal one. We've been kind of beating this to death, but this is looks super juicy. This is, like I said, this is the six inch one ounce version. Um, they got it in a four inch and then we got it in bigger tuna sizes as well. Just super juicy. They. I know Sammy Mullins, one of his favorites. Like a, they did an old school, like lighter champagne version of this. And I know he's sitting on some stock of those. So you better keep your eyes on those ones, Sammy boy. <laughs> um, so uh, new arrival for the soft plastic gang. Um, like I said, a lot of these fish I've been getting on have been like mid, mid slot size, maybe a little bit above slot size. So dealing with the trebies kind of um, loses its appeal really quick. And it's just easy catch and release. These are the big, I think they're eight inch. Is it eight inch or nine inch? Yeah, let's just call it eight inch, seven and three quarters. So it's, you know, it's close enough for government work. This is sexy shimmer. And uh, we were just past full moon here last week. And I had a couple nights where this was really doing work. And if you, I don't know if you can catch that flake, but that's, that's wild. It's wild. And um, Gabe, the homie, um, these things swim incredibly well. Uh, small company, we try to, you know, keep it local, he's the homie, so, big one, little one, honestly, I've got more fish on the little one than the big one, no BS, uh, I think this is, what is, what do we got here, black sapphire, and, uh, I'm a big, uh, fan of the midnight calamari as well, um, and then they do kind of like a natural eel, um, Gabe was talking during show season. He had a guy from MIT make these tails, and he they must be because it's just a, the angle of the joint here. I think they just really like roll and paddle really well. Love the action on them, um, and I'm usually running them with those, uh, just the probably the one ounce on those the bigger ones, and this is usually three quarter or one ounce of the the longer shank um, GT eel jig heads. Just the raw color. I'm fishing in the dark. They don't care. I don't get hung up on the finish. Um, soft plastics outside of the GTOs for me have been the no light bay needed. These are the eight inch ones, um, in the blurple color, like Jake was saying, thick johns. So these guys hold on to your bait keepers really, really well. Um, again, I love the paddle. I'm usually running. My thing with these guys is I want big tail, light head. So these are the one ounce. I actually have this in a three quarter ounce as well. Um, and they've been super effective, but I want to be able to reel them in really slow because I'll still be fishing these in pretty shallow water. Um, and honestly, these tails got some weight to them too. So when you're talking about this combined, uh, lure, you're probably talking close to two ounces of total. So, um, you know, it's big plastic, but big plastic, big, big fish. So those are stand out as well. Um, that's kind of been like my couple that have, um, that I've been experimenting with. Uh, I kind of got sick and tired of fishing just minnows all the time. So I've been trying to be nice to the fish and maybe limit my headlamp action, limit my plier use with the soft plastics. And then um, I've been fishing more after work, not just spend the night time in it. Um, so I've been fishing a lot more of the top waters. It's been an absolute blast. Um, you know, not always monsters, but a good top water action is just a great way to get some fish in and also make it home for dinner and get a good night's sleep. So I'm not a total zombie in here for you guys. Um, boom, tight lines. Have a great day, guys. Peace.